Good ass shit, ain't it? Chief. Yes, I think my pistol broke. Damn, we well, you know where to deposit it. You know where to get another one. <laughs> Damn. Check you, if you want to go? What's up? You shoot like a corrections officer. More uh more custom to a sniper, sir. Okay, well, I mean, you could try to put an order in, see if you get one of those. That'd be kind of nice. That I'd appreciate that, sir. Would be awesome. But I think you should put that in my hands, Chief. You know I'm the best shot. No, you're not. Here you guys go. That's why I said let's go on here and let's put this shit up. Neil get my ammo. Hurry yeah. up, Dan. Fuck! Six. Maverick, go ahead and get in that, uh. Maverick, go ahead and get in that, uh. Let's go! Cruiser right here. Right, Chief, right, so right. can I get my pistol? Sit ups, man. Let me see some sit ups, man. Sit ups! I'll get you. I'll, I'll get right on it. I'll Chief. He'll give it to you. What are you ready for? Sit down. Give us goddamn sit ups. One. Two. Goddamn, got motherfuckers McLean. Who'd you, who'd you are? Three. How many, Chief? How many do you want? Asking questions. All right. Ah, five. Maverick, we got a problem. Damn, I don't really have apps. Six. Ah, shit. Seven. I tried to goddamn get on the radio and talk to hey, you. Hey, it ain't working. Nine. Yeah, overall, uh, I'm seeing good work. Um, I'm definitely seeing uh, you guys follow the protocols and procedures of how uh, the traffic stops should be done and conducted. Uh, let me tell you guys something right now. Take advantage of the MDT at all times. I know it's a little complex, but uh, I wanna say that um, Carter actually has a pretty good uh, idea of how it works. Um, listen, as soon as you're getting ready to pull somebody over, just make sure you take advantage of getting the sights of one thing and one thing only. That's their license plate. So before you even like go over to like the you know the window anything just make sure you guys write that down that the mdt might already have it logged because of the way how the system set up in uh the vehicle uh you know the way how it can like scan everything just make sure you get that license plate number once you, we have that license plate number we have everything um so don't even stress it um if you don't have the proper backup or if you don't have the fastest uh patrol vehicle hey listen make sure you just document that um basically uh they were resisting uh they were non-compliant and um get a warrant out for their arrest um you know if you know you're just doing you know your regular routine of just traffic stops and you know giving speeding violations anytime you get someone who wants to try to play, play uh Chase me, don't do it sometimes, it's not even worth it. Um, especially, let's be you to handle that part. You make sure uh, you know your roads, your streets. Make sure you know uh, what side of town you're on if you're gonna start pursuing the chase. But definitely, most importantly, get that license plate. Once you get that license plate, uh, you'll start noticing that it's easier to do your reports and paperwork. Especially when you're at a crime scene. Any crime scene you're at, any vehicles you see, just start documenting it because uh listen that mdt can do a lot of your uh cop work for you as long as you get a license plate a first name or a last name i make myself clear uh yes sir, sir, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> hello this is uh da da philip banks this is mclean uh Chief of TCPD. Yes, oh yes, sir. Uh, I reached out to you, man. We got a case uh, that y'all sent up to us. Uh, I wanted to see if I could stop by the police department and go over some of the facts with you and uh, 
I believe it's uh, Winters, uh, Officer Winters, if uh, he's available. I right, no problem. I'm going to uh, shoot him an email. And uh, I'm already at the station ready, so you can go ahead and come on by, y'all. I'll be at the front waiting for you. All right. I'll be there momentarily, sir. All right, no problem. He did his job, got him processed as soon as possible. But it was definitely good work on Winters. However, um, I will be sure to interview Winters and ask him uh, how did that go so that I can update you on everything. Probably get him to update his report a little bit because it was pretty brief. Let's see. Let me see. Yeah. I, got a, I got a message. That's uh. Got a message from uh actually I gotta talk to you about something. Oh yeah. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> so we should have uh notified both uh you and Reigns, but um we got a guy that uh we're kinda investigating. Um we gotta get a war a warrant to raid his uh property. Um uh, we're still trying to like look that up. Um he was associated with one of the green flag members. I don't want to like, actually I'll tell you his name. Um, he goes by the last name of Marshall. Um, okay. we did arrest him. Uh, we only had a little bit of information on him. He only had about 30 bags of crack on him, but he did have $30,000 of mark money as well. But, um, okay. we, uh, lately we've been going, uh, I can't disclose too much of what uh, the detectives do, but I'm just notifying you ahead of time. That uh, we're gonna probably need you both, you and uh, Reigns present the next time we probably go to um, City Hall and meet with uh, Judge Boone and uh, Miss LaRoe okay. because uh, we got denied the first time. Um, it seemed like Boone was probably trying to cover his ass. Um, we had information on him, but the problem is is that uh, Marshall kind of threw us off for a loop because we confiscated uh, a submachine gun, a high profile weapon off of him. And um, so he decided to come in, give us his fingerprints, uh, mug shots and everything, thinking that if he cooperated with us and he gave a few names that uh, he would, um, you know, get his weapon back. I'm like, that's that's not how that works. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so, um, you know, the, the name he gave was uh, Jermaine Hendricks. Jermaine Hendricks is... Um, He's a civilian who works at uh, Pillbox Hospital. He, he seems like he's a, a straight shooter. Seems like he's an honest going guy. Um, his story was a little bit too clean. Um, Joe Swanson did say that he was going to keep an eye on him. He's one of my other detectives. Um, but for the most part, we let him go. We didn't have anything on him. He seemed like he was pretty nervous, you know, so uh, he didn't want to jam himself up. I'm not sure. I heard he's separating so himself from the situation, basically. He was just separating himself from it, right? Yeah. You know, um, yeah, I, I, I do have uh, an interview um, recorded and also uh, on body cam, um, but uh, he definitely did separate himself as much as possible from the situation. Uh, anytime I did see Mr. Hendricks, he was uh, at Pillbox Hospital. He didn't seem to be doing anything as usual. And based off of uh, Ms. Bailey, um, the head of uh, e EMS and the other uh, co-workers, some of the EMS staff, they don't have access to any of the heavy narcotics or substances that they prescribe and distribute to um, the patients um, that get checked in there. I believe only uh, Bailey and other higher ups are allowed to distribute and um, give patients uh, heavy narcotics. So, I mean, that kind of checks out as well. It's just what Marshall was trying to say is that he gave him uh, crack rock, but as we surveillance and watch Hendrix, we didn't see anything. So okay. Winters ended up surveillancing Marshall and seeing that he was distributing in Del Perro not too long ago. So right now we're just trying to get a little more surveillance, uh, trying to observe uh, his property and observe him and uh, see if he could get as much tangible information uh, off of Marshall and properly build up that case. So that we can possibly uh pursue that raid but for right now we're just backing off of him we're giving him a little bit of air so that boone could be a little more lenient on us but right now boone's pretty strict on us uh going in that raid i mean don't get me wrong you know there's things there's methods that we could do that i can't disclose with you to kind of yes, confirm sir. that but at the same time right now we're just uh crossing our t's and dotting our eyes and just playing it safe right now 
That's exactly what I was about to say. Cause you know, as far as us DAs, we on the same side, you know, as far as making sure that uh, you know, make sure everything is done right. And as far as this, you know, just when you get your uh your information together for the judge, everything, man, body cam footage, multiple, you know, multiple uh images, of course, names is possible. It has to be something that's undeniable. I mean, it it, it can't be no, no, no leaks, no nothing, because if you deny for like if you have video, this man having people coming out of his house, his backyard, handoffs. You see him uh, in cars with people giving them drugs. You got video, you know, stuff like that is undeniable. If you got undeniable, you know, proof, it, it, it'll work in court. And, of course, you should be able to get that warrant because the warrant is the, is the end game. You get the warrant, you can get him on everything, and you get his associates as well. Um, so, I mean, of course, if it's a suspicion about a, uh, the, the police department that this man is a big fish we need to get him and all the being around him especially if he if he has gang affiliations because i've seen a couple of guys walk around with a flag on them so we're not we're not sure exactly what this man is uh you, you know you know your investigations y'all may have a bigger you know better idea but we need to figure out exactly what he is what he do what he's moving hell video surveillance we got audio surveillance of this man saying something I mean, I can't see why the judge ain't going to let you go ahead and raid that man house, especially if he got a high power wife like that, a legal weapon at that, you know, what man should have that, you know, unless he with the SWAT team or he with the, you know, the military, why this man got this? So yeah, just make sure, you know what I'm saying? Just tell your detectives to take good notes. Uh, Cause like I said, the same evidence you give the judge to get that raid when it's time to go to court and me and uh, DA Reigns have to go over everything you know we don't have to worry about loopholes we don't have to worry about nothing everything's gonna be sealed so tight all they gotta do is you know try to plead plead uh guilty or work out something better but definitely man i like to hear that man like legally yeah make sure y'all got especially body cam and images like that's the strongest thing you guys could do you know well the good thing is what i have is uh him legitimately telling me that um does distribute crack and that he confirmed me crack. So right now, uh that's that's what we're trying to um get in motion. If, if I can get him comfortable enough to where I'm purchasing, you know, these substances off of him, you know, that's even more evidence. Um but right now we're just taking it slow, trying to get him comfortable. And uh, we'll bring this to Boone's attention. So we're going to build up that case a little more. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, yes, for sure. Like, if you ever need anything, any cases or whatever, man, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can shoot them off to uh, uh, DA Reigns or me, the assistant DA. You know, we make sure that we get, get it going and get it on the docket for us. And um, yeah, if anything, as far as if you have any kind of investigations that y'all got going on, and y'all, y'all need to make sure that legally uh, y'all within y'all rights and uh, you can get that warrant, you know, Always a call away, and we can go over the legal portions. But yeah, um, wish y'all luck on that, man. He's gonna put these guys away. Thanks, Mr. Banks. It's been a pleasure once again. I'll follow with you soon. No problem, sir. Take it easy. All right, have a good one. Meet me at the apartments at 722. 722? 722, yeah. Meet me at the apartments. All right, I'm on my way, bro, bro. Yeah. All right, Yo. so boom, you hear me? I hear you. Hey, listen, it's, it's dark at night, so driving something dark. All right, got you. All right, I'm going to be around a 722 apartments area, but don't whatever you do, just hang back. You know what I mean? If you don't hear no gunshots or no fuck shit, boom, you just lay All up. All right, just home, text me the area again. Uh, it's yeah, it's 722. Be close. 722. Close All to right, close, man, I'll be somewhere close. All right. All right. Yo, what's good, bro? I'm dropping it. That's you, put, oh, that's you right here? Yes, All right, sir. Bet, bet, bet. All right. What's good, bro? What's good, bro, bro? So you mean the front of this, or you got the 20 right now? No, I got the 20 right now, my nigga. 
I bet. But go ahead and send me that. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you this. What's your ID, bro? You got butt all over you, by the way. 36, bet. I'm gonna go change. I gave you extra right, too, bet. my nigga. Bet, bet, bet. Go stash this shit right now. All good, right. Good looking, bro, bro. There you go. Oh, it's only okay. Hold on, let me see. Oh, uh, it was saying something crazy that you only gave me one, but I see it all now. Nah, 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 yeah, nah, 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 nah. I ain't gonna do like that game. No, nah, you good. This should be hand like that. Yeah, make sure you don't sell it for like two fifty or more. Two fifty or more. Yeah. I right, bet. And yo, my nigga, anything else you be doing? I'm not gonna lie, my nigga. I be trying to make some moves or some real shit. Shit. I got a job at PDM. I sell drugs and pick corn. I make my money. Man, bet. But shit. I mean, look. If y'all niggas drugs be hitting though. And, what? All and, that they, shit? and the people, yeah, all that shit. And the people offer more if you sell when the cops on. But just, you know, be safe. All right, good looking. I'm gonna let you know how much I make off this shit in my holla back at you, right? I bet. All right, be safe, my nigga. All Take a look at this shit, bro. I'm about to pass this. You how much? See that shit, nigga? Oh, Lord. Mm-hmm. He say he had more? Man, he didn't say all that, but listen. Look, he fronted me that shit, gave me that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and look. Aim the bread, you, you know, you know the bread. The bread would have been a straight, you know, giveaway if I ain't had that, cause you know. Yeah. He he was par he came he kind of sounded like he was a little paranoid, but once he seen I had that money, bro, he was straight. I mean, so, you know, I mean, the best part about it is, is that look, we got proof. We got proof that he be he he be moving work. You mean he be moving weight, bro? So you know, um, I mean, I'm still trying to get footage. I mean, I don't know, like. I try to get close enough to him to where I could probably, like, you know, go to the crib, meet him at Grove or some shit like that. But at the same time, all he told me was is that, you know, sell, uh, he sell on the side. You know, he, he do his little crop hustle on the farm. And, um, you know, he be uh, selling vehicles at PDM. So I'm, I'm not really sure how close we could get to him getting given footage of him and gang affiliated members inside of... Uh, his uh, property on Grove Street, but here's the thing, you know, uh, I'm, I met him at the apartment complex, so at the same time, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I, I think you gotta find another way to get this guy, because at the same time, most likely, he probably got stuff stashed at his apartment too, so we don't want to make that move, push all the way to Grove Street, and he probably got weight in his apartment. So what's his next step? You gotta have a meeting, man. It sound like uh, me, Winters, the district attorneys, y'all gotta sit down and just have a meeting about this thing. Because uh, if if we get a warrant for anything, bro, we just gotta do it the right way. You know what I mean? We just either way, we got enough to hold them. You know what I'm saying? We got enough to hold them. At the end of the day, like you know, I could meet him again, have officers, you know, come watch us, confirm the sale. And they could just crack down on this real quick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sounds smart. Yeah, we could still get him either way, because that was a confirmed sale. So if I make that move and I call him again, 
buy some work so we can still get them either way but um i don't know i gotta sit down and still talk to uh the district attorneys and winters more about whether or not we should get that warrant or not because i i don't i don't think the raid will be the smart idea if we don't have uh i don't know we just don't we just need a little more information before we could push into this house but right now the only information I could get is that he do got that work and he moving it. Alright, bet. Yeah, man. Alright, so look. That's what we about to do. We're going to split up. And uh, I'm going to push back the PD and I'm going to get back in uniform. You know, I just got a way of doing it so I won't get caught slipping out here. Alright, bet. I'll see you in a little bit, bro. Alright. Star on the beat.